and welcome to our video tutorial for this stripy cat scarf that you can see Malibu wearing here. So I hope you enjoy, the, enjoy this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe and hope to catch you soon. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so for this project you'll need some yarn. I'm going to use this uh, bulky weight um, wool blend yarn. Um, yeah, you, you can use two colours like I'm using to make the stripy version. These two colours represent Cats on Leash awareness. So I'm going to use those two colours. Uh, you could use any any colours you like. A sports team colours would be uh, also pretty cool. Um, you can use multiple colours. You don't have to use you know the same colours. You could use uh, just one colour and not make stripes. This basic pattern would suit that as well. So, you know, you can be really creative with your colour choice for this scarf. You'll need a crochet hook that uh, is, is, I recommend, slightly larger than the yarn that you're using. Uh, and you'll see why. We're using a stitch called Moss Stitch, and you, it'll be much easier with a crochet hook that is larger than what your yarn recommends. You'll need a darning needle. You'll need some scissors. You'll need a tape measure or some type of measure to take some measurements throughout the project. Um, it doesn't have to be a tape measure. You know, you can use any sort of, you know, ruler or whatever. A tape measure you might need if you want to measure the um, circumference of your cat's neck, but even that's not, uh, that's not vital for this project. And you may or may not need some scrap cardboard to make your uh, tassel fringe. Um, I'm going to give you an option of two different tassels, two different fringes to make. And for one of them, it's a good idea to have some cardboard. So um, if you've got some scrap cardboard on hand, that would also be good. Okay, so um, the techniques and stitches you'll need to know to make this scarf are how to slip knot onto your hook, how to create a chain, how to uh, single crochet, how to weave in your ends and I'll show you how to make these tassel fringe. This one here is just a simple tassel fringe and I'm also going to show you a second way to make thicker tassels if, you, if that's the look you prefer. So uh, yeah it's beginner friendly, super simple and quick to make up and let's get started. Okay, so take your colour one and slip knot onto your hook, however you do that. And then you're going to work out how wide you want your scarf to be. So this one here I made at four centimetres wide. Okay, it's about four centimetres wide. So depending on the look that you're going for, the size of your cat, you'll work out how wide you want your scarf to be. So absolute minimum I would say would be three centimetres. Um, and if you want a chunkier look, you could go up to five or six centimeters wide. So you work out how, oh, drop my hook, how wide you want your scarf to be. And then you'll make a chain to that width. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's see how that is. Might be slightly wide. But let's see. No, it's close enough to five centimeters. I'm just going to allow just a little bit extra there because you want an even number of stitches or, or of chains at this point. Okay, so make sure that you've got the width that you want approximately plus you've got an even number of chains. So let me just recount one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight. Perfect. Now to begin row one, chain one, locate the second chain from the hook and insert a single crochet chain one skip one and then single crochet in the next chain chain one skip one single crochet chain one skip one and then single crochet in your last chain okay so that's row one to start row two, chain one, turn, and then you'll need to locate your chain spaces. And this is why I recommend that you use a crochet hook that's slightly larger than what your yarn recommends because it'll make it easier for you to locate these chain spaces. Okay, so locate your first chain space and single crochet into that chain space. 
chain one. Move along to the next chain space, single crochet, chain one. Into the next chain space, single crochet, chain one. And then at the end here, you'll be working into this final stitch at the end. Okay. And that's row two completed. And basically, we're just repeating row two all the way along the scarf. So chain one. I'll just go through with you row three. Find that first chain space, single crochet, chain one. Next chain space, single crochet, chain one. Next chain space, single crochet, chain one. And for my width, I've got those I've got three chain spaces and then work into that very end stitch there on the end so you can see that starting to take shape okay so you'll keep going now you can make each stripe as uh, high as you want I'm going to make each stripe approximately the same height as they are wide so as you saw at the beginning I've got around five centimeters of width. So each stripe for me is going to be about five centimeters high. So I'm gonna work another few rounds, uh, another few rows, and I will be back to change color with you. So you keep going to the uh, height of the color one that you want for your first stripe. And the, you know, there's no rules. You could make it a qu them quite narrow stripes. You could make them um, quite, you know, high, high and um, wide stripes. So it's entirely up to you. There's um, lots of room for creativity here. So um, yeah, I'm going to go for a few more rows, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I finished my first stripe to the height that I want, which is about five centimeters. So now I'm going to change color so I'll show you how I change color there's there's a few different ways to do it but I'll show you what I do so all I do is I just lay my next color over top of my hook and with the working end I just pull up a loop and then tighten all these these ends and tighten the loop on my hook then chain one and once again, you might have to tighten. Just make sure those are those are nice and tight there. Turn your work, and then you'll just start the next row as you normally would. Now, you can work in your, your tail if you want to, or you can just weave them all in at the end. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to weave them all at the end in this case. So um, you've chained one, and then you'll just start your next row. in exactly the same way and continue in exactly the same way as you did for all your previous rows. And just to mention, working into this little end part here can be sometimes a little bit tricky, but just do your best. Get it in right into the end there. And there's the color change. All done. So I'll just do one more row with you of this next color, just to show you, um, you know, just to complete and show you two rows. So I've chained one put my first single crochet in the first chain space, chain one, single crochet into the next chain space, chain one, into the next chain space, single crochet, chain one. And then when you're working into this end part once you've changed colors, it can just be a little bit tricky, but get your hook in there as best you can. And that completes your next row of color change. So keep working once again, go to the height that you want for your stripes and I'll meet you uh, shortly. I'm going to change color with you one more time and then I'm going to just leave you to work to the length of the scarf that you want. So chaining one and I'm going to continue on. So catch you soon. Okay, so I've reached the height that I want for my color two. Now, just take your scissors, and you could have done this before, but just to show you now, take your scissors and you'll just cut off your first color to approximately the length of the tail of your second color. 
and then you will of course use your second color in your next color change or if you're making lots of different colors you may have a, a different color now also what I'll, I'll show you to do at this point is you just tie a knot to secure this side here okay you can go through and do that at the end but I'll show you that now so uh, yeah changing color again so just do it as the same the same way as you did it before just pulling up a loop tightening all of your ends chain one and turn and then just start your your work as before okay so super simple and you'll work this up really quickly so keep going until you reach the length that you want for your scarf and you know you can make it a longer scarf you could make it a shorter scarf that you just tie a, a little a knot in for it to sit around the neck or you can make it um, a longer scarf like I made here so this one here um, let's fold it in half let me tell you what I made this one and this one here is it's about uh, 58 to 60 centimeters long okay but, so I've made this so I can wind it a couple of times around Melba's neck okay so you you just work out how you want it to sit and how you want it to fit and you'll make it to the length that you want and this one here I'm probably going to go at least to that 60 centimeters and probably a little bit longer because like I mentioned the cat that I'm making it for is quite a large cat so I'm gonna keep going and I'll meet you when I'm at the length that I want for my scarf so you do the same and happy crocheting okay so I'm back I've done a few more of my uh, my stripes but what I'm going to do now is in the interest of filming this in um, this light in the afternoon what I'm going to do is pretend that I've made my full length um, I'm going to go to at least 60 centimeters and probably a bit more for this cat that I'm making it for because he's quite a big boy so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to finish off and I'll show you uh, a couple of options for making your tassels so just pretend that I've uh, this is the end of my scarf so I've finished what I want to do so you'll just yarn over and pull through a length and snip off your end okay now you'll what you'll do is you'll go down and do remember I said to tie all of these so you'll go down and you'll tie all of these together all down the sides and then what you'll do is um, weave in your ends so take your darning needle and I'll just show you how to do one of these so you'll thread your needle and then what you'll do just do is just weave this end through your work okay so each color into the corresponding color so you'll just weave that down and you can go backwards and forwards a couple of times or just pull it through once just make sure it doesn't um, get pulled too tight that it distorts your work and then I'll sew in all of my other ends but basically that's what you'll do with all of your ends and then if you, I'll show you a couple of different tassels so for the scarf that I made earlier I just made these very simple the simple little fringe okay so I'll show you how to do that so decide how long you want your fringe to be so you can um, make a longer fringe or a shorter fringe what I was doing with this last one is I was taking around 10 centimeter lengths so around 10 centimeters and it doesn't have to be exact because you'll be giving them a little haircut later anyway so to make that first little fringe you'll just all you'll do at the end of your work is you'll insert your hook you'll just pull 
fold it in half, pull the loop through, and then just pull the ends and tie a little knot. Okay, super simple, just a really simple fringe. So you can do that, and you can add as many of those fringes along. You can add the same color as your stripe, or you can alternate the colors again like I did on this one. So you're, you know, you're free to do whatever works for you there. And the other one I'm going to offer you is using the piece of cardboard. So what you'll do is just take a, a scrap piece of card, um, cut it into approximately or at least the length that you want for your tassel and slightly, slightly longer. And then what you'll do is you'll take your, the color that you want for your tassel and you'll wrap it around. So depends how thick you want your tassel to be as to how many times you wrap around. That's three, four, five. Let's say five, let's do six. Okay. And then take off, take that off the card. So this is just your, your template. So take that off the card. And you'll cut that end. And then it's basically a very similar process. You'll just take your, your crochet hook and you'll just pull through. And you might need to use a larger crochet hook, but you'll pull through all of those, all of those loops through. Okay, and this will just give you thicker, th thicker tassels, thicker, thicker, uh, thicker fringe. And then you'll do the same thing as you did before. You'll work this other end through, and you might need to use your crochet hook for that as well. Pull them all through, and then pull that tight. And get your your knot nice and tight and even there. See, I've got that a little bit. See how I've got a loop coming up there. So what you'll just need to do is find out find where that strand is and pull it through. Where is it? Not that one. Not that one. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> you'll just have to find that strand and pull it through. And then what you'll do from there is you'll cut, cut the, cut the loop there, and then you once you've done them all, you don't need to do it now. But once you've done all of your tassels, you'll just give them a bit of a haircut so they're all the same, all the same length. So you'll do that once you've made all of your tassels, all of your fringe, so you can even it up all at once. Okay, so there's there's a thicker a thicker tassel. So you've got a couple of options there. You can make just thin little thin little tassels. Oh, I think I've missed one there. Oh no, that's my tassel from last time. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I've missed pulling through one of the strands. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there we go. So you can make these thicker tassels. You can make just a thinner fringe. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to make this this thickness today, so I'm going to leave that one on there. So I wound this six times around my card. So you can wind it more for thicker tassels, or you can um, wind it less for thinner tassels. So that's basically the scarf. So um, now you'll just have to pretend that it's finished. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you once again the one that I've got finished here. So congratulations on making your scarf. And like I said, I've made this one in the colors of our Cats on Leash Awareness campaign, which the month of March is Cats on Leash Awareness Month. And these are the colors of our badge. So I've made um, a scarf for Melba for that. And uh, this one I'm making for a friend of mine. So um, 
yeah, congratulations. You could make this up in any, like I said, any colours. You could make it. It's a great sports team scarf if you support a, a team that has a couple of colours. You could uh, make this as a sports team scarf or just, you know, just a, a fun uh, colourful scarf. So thanks for so much for watching. As always, I would love to see what you come up with. And, uh, yeah, please send those photos along to catventurous.com community at gmail.com or you can tag us on social media catventurous.crochet so once again i appreciate you being here thanks for watching and catch you soon thanks baby sweetie pie okay surely there's something there we can use